According to scholars, the first organ was the hydrolis, a water organ which was developed in the 3rd century BC. This organ was replaced, beginning with the 2nd century C, by a pearly pneumatic organ. The new pneumatic organ variants, were used in the Eastern Roman Empire, at the imperial court in Constantinople, at large events, or by the wealthy upper classes. In the Western Roman Empire, traces of the organ are lost from the 4th century C. Due to migrations, unrest, or for religious reasons. The first concrete evidence, of Western European pneumatic organs, can be found from the 8th century, onwards. Concrete Western European pneumatic organ models, up to the 14th century are mostly only known from descriptions. The first illustrated evidence of European organs, comes mostly from religious texts, such as the Psalter, which is part of the Bible. The Psalter is a collection of 150 Hebrew poems, hymns, or prayers, that have been compiled into a book. It is used in Judaism, and Christianity. Many of the 150 Psalms, are attributed to King David, who is sometimes even named as the author, of the Psalms. According to the Bible, David, who defeated, Goliath, was a shepherd boy, who could play the harp very well, and was an excellent writer, of Psalms. This is, why David playing the harp, was often chosen as the cover image, for the Psalter, or other religious illustrations. In medieval times, an organ often appears, next to the David harp playing illustrations. Thirteenth century CE, in the Rutland Psalter, King David plays an organ, himself. But, wasn't it the harp, that David played, according to the Bible? And were there organs, in King David's time? Mistranslations of music instruments from the Bible, turn the harp, and the agave, into an organ. The organ did not exist. The illustrated organs, usually reflect the current state of organ technology, at the time, when the Psalter was written. They are an excellent source for organ historians. 3D models of organ instruments, shown in Psalters and religious texts. In chronological order. Keep in mind, the Bible is not, an encyclopedia of musical instruments.